Hi, you're watching Skillsheet and what I have here is a ESP8266 adapter plate. This is used to access all the pinouts of ESP12 board which is based on ESP8266. There is a VCC pin and a ground pin. ESP12 can only be powered with 3.3 volt. So if you power it with 5 volts, it will get damaged and may die. You can either use VMOS ESP12 module or this if you are up to tinkering. So in order to power it, we have two options. The first one is to use ESP programmer or TTL converters power output. But 3.3 volt output of these programmers cannot suffice ESP8266 power requirements as it needs more power to enable Wi-Fi module. So the next method is to use Arduino or similar boards to power ESP12. This method will surely work but the real issue here is after you flash the code onto ESP12, how will you power it when you don't want to use Arduino every time? Powering with Arduino isn't a permanent solution. But there is another way. You can use the adapter plate to power ESP12. At the back of this adapter plate, there is a designated spot where 3.3 volt regulator can be soldered. To use voltage regulator, we need to make a small modification here. We need to remove this resistor which currently bridges VCC to the input of ESP12. Removing this resistor will direct the VCC of this adapter plate to input of voltage regulator and the output of voltage regulator to ESP8266 port. This is how it looks after soldering the voltage regulator and removing the resistor. Do remember to check whether your AMS1117 is a 3.3 volt regulator because it comes in various other voltage output ranging from 1.2 volts up to 5 volts. You might have noted by now the regulator is not soldered as per the pad layout. This is because the board is not designed for AMS1117 but for HT7333. Please be extra careful with the pinouts of the regulator. As you can see the board is getting 3.3 volts. I will use TTL programmer to flash code onto ESP12. Make sure to have all the necessary drivers for TTL programmer and also the board links into the Arduino IDE. To add it, just go to the file preferences and click this icon and add the links here separated by comma. Along with ESP8266, I downloaded ESP32 package also just to save some time. Click OK and now go to board manager and search for ESP8266. Download the latest package. So I will first update the firmware of this ESP. To do that, go to Espressif page and download the flashing tool. Now click ESP80 and click on ESP8266 AT. Download the latest package and unzip it. Now navigate to ESP8266 firmware folder and open flasher arguments JSON file in any notepad. You will find all the addresses and the corresponding files to be flashed. Now in flashing tool, select the files and enter the appropriate address. In order to program the board, connect 5 volt to VCC, ground to ground, RX of TTL to TX of ESP and TX of TTL to RX of ESP. Also you need to connect GPIO0 to ground before powering the board. This will put it into programming mode. This is a necessary step before programming the board and you have to do it every time. 
Now plug the TTL into USB port, keeping the GPIO 0 connected to the ground. Change SPI speed and SPI mode. To find the appropriate values, just open Arduino IDE. In tools, select the board as generic ESP8266 module. You will find the appropriate flash mode and flash speed there. Just select the same values in the flashing tool. Select port and baud rate. Do not select anything and just click start for a dry run. You must see the MAC address in the log screen. After this, select all the file entries and click start. And wait for it to finish and reset the port. You have now updated the firmware. Now let's flash a small code to see it working. Insert TTL into USB with GPIO connected to the ground as done previously. Select Blink from the example and click Upload. You must see the flash progress and the person in the console. If you see this, your board is not in the programming mode. Just verify the connection and make sure GPIO 0 is also connected to the ground and the board was powered after this. After the flashing is complete, unplug the VCC and the GPIO 0 connection and reinsert VCC. You will see the inbuilt LED blinking. If you want to use ESP programmer, just follow this wiring diagram. In this case, you need to connect TX of programmer to TX of ESP8266 and RX of programmer to RX of ESP8266. You don't need to flip RX with TX. Now connect the power source and programmer. Select the port and remember to ground GPIO 0 pin and then plug VCC to the board. Click upload in Arduino IDE to flash the code. Wait till it completes. Remove GPIO 0 from ground and reinsert VCC. There you have it. You can use the same process to flash the firmware to the ESP8266. This is how you modify the board, update the firmware and flash the code. Now you can power the board with any regular 5V power supply. Comment if you have any doubts. Thanks for watching. Bye.